Cleveland with the ball. The Trailblazers have gone just one of four to get this game started. MP against Lillard. Powell, oh, that's good. And yeah, the high basketball IQ of Lillard showing up and moving the ball to the open man. MP outside. Here's Hardaway. Seller grabs the board. And the NBA with the long regular season, as we all know, are there things, Chris, that can make the season seem even longer or shorter for that matter? Well, it, it depends. Uh, are you losing or winning? You're not seeing eye to eye? That's when the season really can drag on. Uh, when you're winning, you know, <laughs> like the cliche says, time flies when you're having fun. It's true. Here's MP. And it's Brown that Moses time on Brown. the assist by MP. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Paul. Lillard outside. Sinks the three-pointer. Lillard's got five points so far. And the range of Dillon is in so You could not let him get good looks from deep. Dame hit him. Out to the wing. Outside Hardaway. A three from MP. Here's Brown. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Now here's McCullum. His last outing, we saw him pour in 22. And the shot goes in. He has a good feel for the painted area. Zeller, never in a rush. Very deliberate with his moves. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. The bitch did exactly what they needed to do. Substitution on the court. Out of the wings for him, McCollum and Powell. Robert Covington out there with Cody Zeller. And it's Lillard in the point guard. That's the group on the floor for Portland. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, MC in the last matchup against the Jazz had a huge game. He scored 18 points, and he also did a good job of creating for others, getting them the ball in a position to score. He didn't let the losing streak get to him. In fact, he used it as motivation to get the W and break that streak. Kevin? Thanks, David. You know, G.A., you wonder how much of that performance can carry over into this one. You never really know what will happen game to game, but I sure wouldn't bet against him. Uh, yeah. He made it look easy last time. He's in sync from the get-go. We'll see the second team replicate team. that rhythm tonight. At the line for the Mavericks. And the second free throw, good. Portland leading. And you think about the skill needed to hit off-balance shots and with a hand in your face defensively. Chris, C.J. McCollum has got an awful lot in his bag of tricks, doesn't he? The pull-up game is something he, he's been doing his whole life. Now, he's doing it for long Z. range, too. That's a scary thing oh. coming from the rest of And they're beginning to just flat-out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And MP throws it down. That those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster is the defense right there with the score this tight? MP with it. Now Covington defended. On the way against Paul. Burke, the pass to MP. Just five to shoot. Inside. Kleba kicks to Burke. Over McCullum. Burke can't get it to go. Oh, he found open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. Kicks it out to McCullum. Now the pass to Lillard. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. Yeah, well, this is what makes them an all-star caliber player. Did I say all-star caliber? MVP caliber player. His ability to fill it up. MP, no good. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. 
coach is liking what he's seeing from his offense. And guys, they put the defense on the defensive. Powell finds Zeller, and the ball goes out of bounds. Pass touch by MP. Six on the shot clock, and Portland again with the bucket. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Yeah, right now it feels like they can't miss. We'll see how long Your they can make the play. And the Mavericks call time here. And we all know that star players get a few more points, but Greg that can also stir up misgivings in a locker room when things aren't always equal. Kevin, it's a great point, and, and coaches really have to be careful. If you're holding one player accountable and giving another a pass, that tends to lead to a fractured locker room. Oh, man, challenging the defense inside with the pass. That's just good ball move. Here's McCullough, and the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. Covington against Brown. Covington dishes to McCullough. From 11 feet away, and that one hits back iron. And so, MP will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Eight-point game. Trailblazers And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Trailblazers. They carried out a great game plan. And the so far. Working it down low a lot, getting high percentage. Taking two shots. And also, how about the fact defensively, they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Chris, he's checked in for Zell. Nance comes in for Robert Covington. Little, he's checked in for Norman Powell. And it's Simons in for Damian Miller. Powell, he's checked in for Dallas. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And big defensive plays like that will help. And so it's Portland with a 10. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Really an incredible game from Lillard. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. And that's somewhat of a surprise, I mean, but he's been really patient and unselfish. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jason Kidd. We've got Brown. Hardaway is out there with Maxi Kleba. Then it's MP. And it's Berg in at the shooting guard. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Mavericks trail by 10. MP passes to Brown. Back to MP. For the three. And he's good on the three ball. MP's got 11. MP's gone 4 of 9 in field goal attempts. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal. Younger brother of Tyler Zeller and former son's big man Luke Zeller. Cody has a good chance to be the best ball. And so Zeller nails both of them. Here's Dallas. They trail by nine points. MP passes to Burke. And McCollum with the block. They retain possession. Here's MP. Portland foul. Damian the Mavericks have it just two free throws and five attempts at a First, First one falls for him. At the line for the Mavericks. He's perfect from the line this time. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Trailblazers leading by seven. It's up a three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Crown's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Hardaway, no good. 
Trailblazers shooting one of the high points for them in this game at 54%. The shot by Powell, no good. But this is not the start they wanted coming out of the break. 0 for 3 so far, and they're not playing with much intensity. Out to Hardaway. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Great D that time from Powell. For Portland, they've gone 0 3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. And one of the few NBA players out of an HBCU, Robert Covington, undrafted out of Tennessee State University, has had to work for everything he's got in this league. He got his feet wet in the lean years in Philly when they were really trusting the process and not a lot of flash in his game. All about determination and detail. Kicks it out to MP. Pocket four, Hardaway for three. Here's MP and a good Number offensive eight. board, and he gets the bucket. MP's got seven now in this quarter. Just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. It's all clicking for him right now. I mean, they got to body him up. Doesn't it? And the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. This is his second court. attempt at the line tonight. Shooting for Dallas, Jalen Brunson. Shooting one. Twenty-four seconds left here in the third quarter. Alert against Brunson. Here's Lillard. 12 points for him. From about 19 feet. And good. At the end of that time as it falls. Lillard's got 14 points. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams clicking offensively as we approach the fourth quarter. Trailblazers. The candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on a platter and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth Number quarter. 18. Cody Zeller out there with Robert Covington. Then there's Larry Nance. Then it's Damian Lillard. And it's Simons in at the two spot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Three-pointer. A shot missing. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. MP passes to Powell. And here's Brunson. Another shot going inside, and he sinks the layup. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Coach trusts him to make when he plays down the stretch. I mean, because he's shown that ability time and time and time again. Zeller finds Covington. Zeller trying to free himself up. Out to Nance. There's the three. And the dunk by Zeller. Oh, man, Zeller. Zeller using that seven foot height, uh, uh, getting his club some second chance point. MP outside. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. It's stolen by Nance. Here's Simons. Runs in covering. Pass to Lillard. Down low. Wants to get it to Zeller and does. And yes, it's good. And now a five-point Trailblazer lead. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Trailblazers. They played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game. And they've got the steal to prove it. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they defended the rim. As they challenged every shot, also got quite a few blocks as well. Fouled foul on the shot and picks up two Brown. points. So one free throw coming up. That's so Powell will go to the free throw line. Robert Covington picks one up. And Portland making a change here. McCollum's checked in. Brown is checked in for Dallas. There's Covington. And the dunk by Covington. Well, that'll get you a pat on the back from your teammate McCollum. 
unselfish and aware, picking out the perfect pass. Brunson kicks to MP. Passes it to Pop. Covington with the steal. And here's McCollum, covered by MP. McCollum against MP. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Great D that time from Powell. To the inside. It's deflected. Nice break. Here come the Trailblazers. Thompson with it. Now defended by McCollum. Finney Smith passes to MP. And the shot is good. MP's got four this quarter. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. The pass to Zeller. A three from McCollum. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Howell's got rebound number five here tonight. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. Brunson against Lillard. And he drives in. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Got to admire the passion in her place, but he knows he loves having the ball in his hands. Dallas calls timeout. One guy who's getting it done is Lillard. And he continues to burn them with his scoring. And the coaching staff's going to have to come out. Substitution on the court. Two minutes. And finds Chris. Takes the 13-footer. The Mavericks pull it in. Hardaway with it. Lillard picks him up. And Hardaway gets it to go. Sometimes you don't need a haymaker. Just, just a jab. You, you, you got to get those easy looks inside. Three-pointer, Lillard. Rebounded by Hardaway. Mavericks leading by three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Oh, huge turnover. Hey, really the worst possible time. You have to value every possession, especially at this stage of the game. A different look now for Portland. Cody Zeller comes in for Chris. Robert Covington subbed in for Larry Nance. Kicks it out to Lillard. Just five on the clock. Three pointer. Rebounded by Hardaway. For Dallas, they've gone on a tear here in the fourth. They're eight of nine on field goal attempts in the corner. Burke, the pass to MP. 56 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Dallas moving it around. Brown off target with the jump hook. This could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. Here's Lillard. No good there. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Oh, just off his game. Forcing a few shots. Not letting the game come to him naturally. Wow. Good. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Can't waste any time Four here. Four. You're right. They Four. desperately Four. need a bucket Four. in every second matters. Now a timeout called by Portland. They trail by five. 29 oh, seconds left in the fourth quarter. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I had a chance to find out what the Trailblazers coach was going over with his guys. He said, we've got to pick it up right here, right now. If we're going to win this game, we have to take control. This is the time. Kevin. Thanks so much, David. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hand. They know they can count on him to make crucial shots. Yeah, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. And Lillard is going to pick up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. You can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. You know, I don't believe in the word choke, but to come away empty right there is brutal. This game would have been over. Call him outside. 
Yes! He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. Maverick McCullough is a lethal scorer, especially when the game is on the line. Love how the control. And the Mavericks call time here. It's tied at 78. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. The drive by MP. Oh, couldn't sink the shot, and we're going to overtime. And regulation now complete. He will go to overtime from Portland. And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. So Dallas will get the first possession. And always a good ride in these post-regulation battles. This overtime now looking to be an exciting one. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the floor for Portland. Powell and Covington up at the forward. Then there's McCollum. Then it's Cody Zeller. And it's Simons in at the point guard position. To take the lead. And the layup good by Covington. Covington's got the first points here in the overtime period for Portland. MP left side. Here's Brown. And it's rebounded by Covington. Covington's got his sixth rebound on the night. Colin passes to Zeller. And it's good for two. And it's a four-point trailblazer lead. Such a focused, intense competitor. Zeller rising to the challenge. Two minutes remaining in MP against Zeller two to minutes. the middle. Stolen away. On the break, and a wide open look for McCollum trains the three pointer, and the Trailblazers lead by seven. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, it feels like they're just one step ahead right now, looking to build out their advantage even further. And the first of two, no good for the breakers. Tony Snell's checked in for Inferni Simon. That's good, going one of two from the line, and that turns the lead to six. They'll take it, even with the miss. Anything they can do to cut into the lead. Now here's McCollum. Tight defense on him. Now here's Powell. Shot clock at three. Over Kleba. The Trailblazers get it back in a new 14. And the basket by McCollum. Oh, he plays with so much heart, McCollum. I mean, he's constantly battling on the court. This time, it's on the glass. In the corner, it's Kleba. No oh, good with the triple. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for Portland. Here's Snell, covered by MP. And the Trailblazers, another three. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid mid for Portland. And I guess they waited for overtime to break out the big gun. It's not even close in this extra period. It's funny that after four quarters of uh, really looking like this was a, a pick em game, overtime was a complete beatdown. I, I can't say that I saw that coming. And you can mark this one down in the W count. It'll mark their 23rd of the season. And this is a great Robert way for them Evans to kick off this season series. Two more result. games ahead. Second and they've taken foul. the mental advantage with this win That's tonight. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for C.J. McCollum. Oh, he was the alpha dog out there tonight. Totally in charge of this game. No matter what the situation was, he was the one to dictate the action. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Smith the pass to Chris. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Trailblazers lead by 12. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. And you know they are sure. I mean, come on, the finish line is in sight. All they have to do is play a spot. And guys, overtime not nearly as competitive as regulation. They've used up all their energy just getting it to overtime. And so Portland takes this one, but by a big margin. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. They probably didn't anticipate 
that this one would be that close down the wire. But give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime. And, and this win has to feel satisfying. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Is there anything that the community requested that you were able to give them in NBA 2K22? They always request a couple things um, with shooting. Contests were big. Uh, shot contest, logic, and um, just interior defense in general. Uh, I think they felt that could have used a lot of rework, and they were totally right. That was, it's a system that needed a lot of extension. Uh, so we spent a lot of time just making sure that the block. And those are the starting lineups, so kick back and get your. Happy holidays, everyone, from all Alley. Brian Deere. Indeed, they are hungry, Alley. Thank you. So here's Dallas's starting group. Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. MP is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Hardaway in at the small forward position. And for Sacramento, Heald is the two with Barnes in at the small forward. Marvin Bagley is out there with Tristan Thompson. And it's Fox in at the point guard position. And at this point of the season, Clark, scouting reports should be pretty set. How important are they for teams? Extremely important. I mean, knowing the other team's tendencies is um, part of preparing to beat them. So we see some teams who swear by advanced scouting. I mean, it's really a pillar of how they operate. They'll use complex defenses to spot the opponents 
after timeout plays and really put all of that information. It's about data accumulation and then aggregating that data and using it effectively to hopefully give you an advantage in winning the game. Here's Fox. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. And we're about a minute into the first. Healed against MP. And the shot goes in. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Heald. An aggressive player on offense. Scoring around 16 a game. Fox the pass to Heald. Nails it from beyond the arc. Boy, excellent recognition from Fox there. Outstanding at recognizing when his guys are open. In some ways, De'Aaron Fox is a good lesson in patience for owners. He didn't explode out the gate after being picked fifth overall back in 2017. But after a long time, he has found his footing and looks spectacular out there on the floor. You know, Grant, in terms of improvement after his rookie year, you saw it across De'Aaron Fox's entire stat line. Yeah, once he got comfortable in the league, he started going off. He increased his shooting and assist numbers and got himself nominated for most improved player in 2019. Counted from distance. Heald's got six. This is his shot. The defense must chase Heald off that three-point line. Knocked away. Thompson with a steal. Pass to Heald. Yes, and a nice assist from Fox. The assist. Fox has got his fourth assist in this one. Brunson passes to MP. Here's Porzingis. He's guarded by Barnes. Back to MP. Now Kleba. Clock at six. For three. Hardaway. Tipped away. Here's Fox, and it's Fox with the jam. Yeah, I love how Fox uses that wiry frame of his. He's ill-like in his ability to get to spots he wants to get to. He's always under control despite playing at a high rate of speed. MP shot is off. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Up top, Barnes. Defended by Hardaway. Hardaway comes with a double. Bagley for three. It's rebounded by Kleba. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. MP with it. Fox picks him up to end the run. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. The shot no good. The Mavericks have gone two of four so far. Here's Hardaway. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Boy, a promising mid-range game that's highlighted by strong fundamentals and mechanics. Hardaway Jr., a productive score. Timeout call, Sacramento. The last time they came together was in Dallas, where they fell to the Mavericks. Turnovers were the story of that game. It wasn't what I would call a disciplined performance. Yeah, and when you think about it, there was some really sloppy basketball. at some hustle stats for Sacramento. Their frenetic defense has been impressive, putting ball handlers on the defensive and turning them over as well. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. Mitchell and Halliburton, the guards. Chemezi Metu out there with Terrence Davis. And it's Thompson in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five out there for the Kings. There's a touch of artistry to the floater. Takes feel as much as skill. Outside Mitchell. Shot from the low block. That shot off the mark. And the Mavericks go on the other way now. They're coming off that loss against Portland. I think as soon as it got to OT, they felt discouraged. They really expected to win that game going away. And, you know, that's the case a lot of times when you have an uneven matchup like that. I mean, the longer it stays close, the more the underdog starts to believe it can win. Thanks. Well, MP in their last that's game against the Trailblazers so really contributed. He drops 23 points and put in so much effort at the defensive end. Great two-way game for him. He put forth a tremendous effort, made impact plays time and time again. Guys, back to you.
Yeah, spot on, Allie. He was aggressive in that game, really took initiative. He really made an impact, and he'll be looking to repeat that kind of performance again tonight. Yeah, I agree. They really need him. I mean, they need his energy, and they need his talent on the floor. Outside Brunson. For three. Kleba passes to MP to the inside. And it's poor Zingas that time. Zingas. On the assist by MP. MP's got three assists now in this one. Halliburton outside. And the developmental path for top prospects is evolving. Clark has recently announced a new high school league for the top powerhouses. Well, you could almost see this coming, B.A. Again, creating additional pathways for young players to pursue their professional dreams would lead to other types of competition in the NBA. So we'll see how it plays out. But um, I'm not totally opposed to it. Again, it's a small percentage of players that would be part of this type of tournament or league. So let's see where it goes. Fox. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Man, I like how confident Fox is inside. I mean, awesome. Absolutely awesome. Getting good positioning close to the basket. Here's MP. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And he drops the first. At the line for the Mavericks. So he hits one of two from the strike. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. for your Kings. No good on the second free throw. And, you know, Harrison Barnes is an effective two-way player, becoming better every day on offense and can defend multiple positions as well. And the shot goes. MP's got his third basket on the night right there. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Pass to Bagley. Shoots over Kleba. Bagley, no good. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Despite being the consensus college player of the year back in 2018, Jalen Brunson wasn't drafted until the second round. No surprise he's made himself into a quality NBA player, though. Great IQ and hard work has paid off. And two national titles at Villanova for Jalen Brunson. Clark, why do you think he slipped to the second round? Well, it's hard to say, B.A. You know, the draft is more art than science, and guys slip for whatever reason. But if you're a pro and you get into a situation where you can prove how good you are, then you'll hang around in the league. Great college players may not have star potential, but he's truly a long-time NBA pro. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. And Dallas calls time here. It's simple. Turnovers mean you lose shot opportunities, and your opponent can get easy loops. And make some noise. Lens checked in for Thompson. Dallas has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. MP up top. 23 points for him last game against the Trailblazers in Portland. And let's not forget about the assist. His playmaking was critical for this team. Shot clock at six. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Lays it up and banks it in. MP's got six here in the quarter. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Fox against Brunson. And Porzingis with the block. That reach of Porzingis is just outrageous. I mean, I love when he uses it on defense to stifle shooting. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. MP shot is off. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Inside, here's Bagley. And Porzingis with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. Still King's ball. Holmes, he's checked in for the Kings.
After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Boy, Terrence Davis is really making a difference here. You just love his patience offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things, taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half, Kleba and Porzingis, the combo inside. Jalen Brunson is out there with MP. And it's Hardaway in at the three. More than just a score. Heald moves the ball well, especially when his guys are open. MP outside. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. You know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen. All right, Clark, in your heyday, you were a real force on the glass. What impresses you about today's rebounding experts? Well, the rebounding piece of the game has not changed. It's all about timing, positioning, and desire to retrieve the ball. And I had that. And rebounding is universal and timeless. If you can rebound at the highest level in college, then typically you're a good rebounder in the pros and if you rebound in the pros in the 50s or 60s you'd be able to rebound in the pros in the 80s 90s and 2000s so that part of my game i know without any doubt would still transfer today boy he's doing everything he can at this point the rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help about a minute and a half in the second Man. half. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Another shot right in the lane. That's been their M.O. this evening. Here's M.P. The shot that time not on target. Thompson with some nice D. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. For Sacramento, they've gotten two or four shots to go since the break. You know, playing for the Knicks, Porzingis did a lot of initiating in the post. His shot diet has changed since the injury. He's much more spot up and catch and finish now. MP with it, and it's Heald picking him up. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. You know, for a max contract player to accept a change in play style as KP has, Clark, it's not always easy. No, it really isn't, B.A., and I think it's a credit to how much he puts the team first. I mean, he's willing to sacrifice and adjust his game for the greater good, and he's very effective in his role. That always helps, too. Arjanovic checked in for the Mavericks. Back to Fox. to Barnes. Here's Bagley. Off the window. It's good. Bagley's got his first two points of the night. He can't be thrown any better. That bounce pass hit him right in stride. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. He's been playing great unselfish basketball, really putting the rock in the hands of the right shooters. He is delivering a lot of room service times tonight. One sweet one after another. Here's MP. Rebound by the Kings. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Brunson against Fox. It's hauled in by Marjanovic. For Dallas, they've got three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Porzingis over Bagley. Misses off the right iron. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Substituting on the court. MP against Fox. MP drives in. Oh, it's blocked by Fox. Fox and Halliburton are the guard set. Tristan Thompson is out there with Alex Lynn. And it's Holmes in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five out there for the Kings. 
The assist. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. And here's MP from outside. Buries it from three. MP's got 22. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Pass to Thompson. And I think we're all giving more attention to health and well-being. Grant, anything the league can do better to protect player health? Well, I know they've tried to cut down on travel and minimize back-to-backs, but at the end of the day, you're playing 41 road games and 41 home games. That's what it is. It's a marathon. It's going to be hard, and it's an endurance race. And so, yeah, maybe reducing regular season games, but I'm not sure that's an option. So sometimes you just got to grind it out and get through it and hope for the best for your ball club. Sacramento has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Kings. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, I can't imagine it'll be any different. And this will push their total wins for the year up to 11. And this is an even matchup. One-to-one -one on the season series with two left to play. Hard to say now how the final two games between them will play out, but one thing's certain. I mean, they're going to go at each other. This has become a very intense matchup. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Tyrese Halliburton. And, you know, there was no stopping him tonight. Whenever he got the ball, he was looking to score, and rightly so. And it's Fox penetrating. And it's Fox with the jam. And, guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Back to MP. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Pass to Marjanovic. The baseline J. And he can't get that one. Now here's Halliburton. Here's Fox. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.